Hey everyone, my name is Anjali Verma and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about how can you complete your math syllabus in two months. So this video is for both the students, those who have completed the syllabus and they want to revise and also for those who haven't even started yet. So look, if you haven't started, so you need to give three to four hours on a daily basis to maths if you want to score really good. And if you have completed all your syllabus, then you just need to give two to three hours to maths. So a basic question that each and everybody asks me for maths is whether NCRT is enough to score good marks or not. So NCRT is enough. You do not need to practice any other book than NCRT. And if you're preparing for any sort of competitive exam, then RD Sharma is important because it is a book that contains high level questions as well. And your concept also gets cleared and you get to solve a lot of questions so for that rd sharma is important but uh, if you just want to score good in board exams so ncrt is enough and look do the most important questions first and how would you get to know about the most important questions you'd get to know about them from the pyqs and the sample papers so mostly the questions are asked from pyqs only and rest you can practice the sample papers as well and uh, if you are revising then i would prefer that start with calculus or even if you're starting so start with calculus because calculus covers the maximum number of marks in the board exams it covers around 40 to 44 marks and uh, calculus contains first continuity and differentiability in this chapter the most important are the questions from uh, log the questions that are solved from log those questions are most important and rest uh, there was one exercise that contained Rolle's theorem and mean value theorem that was important but now it has been reduced so you need not practice that and in application of derivatives the last exercise is very important like the questions in which you have to prove a particular thing by the help of maxima and minima so that exercise is very important and integration is a very lengthy chapter but you should only practice NCRT and mostly the questions are asked from NCRT only. And after that application of integrals, this isn't a lengthy chapter, only first exercise is in your syllabus now. So the first exercise is important and do practice that because a four mark question generally comes from this chapter. And then matrices is not that important, though it is very easy, but not important because only two to three marks question would be asked this year because uh, matrices had uh, the elementary operations which was very important but now it has been reduced so according to me only two to three marks questions would be asked from this chapter then after that we have determinants and in determinants the most important topic is solving the linear equations now minus cofactors it joined these are the basic uh, simple topics that would be asked only for one or two mark but the inverse and the linear equations are very important they come generally for four to five marks in board exams and after that inverse trigonometric functions uh, the formulas are very important if you want to do trigonometry so you need to learn all the formulas and then practice trigonometry then after that relation and function now relation and functions is a very important chapter it uh, generally covers a weightage of 10 marks and 10 marks are very important so do practice relation and functions you can practice relation and functions from ncrt and from the pyqs and also do the questions of sample papers because this is a very important chapter and a bit confusing too and after that in differential equations the most important exercises are the homogeneous differential equations and the linear differential equations that is the 9.5 and 9.6 exercise these two exercises are the most important exercises of differential equations then after that vector is a very easy chapter you just have to calculate scalar and vector product and uh, these two are very easy you would have practiced it in class 11 so it is very easy and after that 3d is a bit tough chapter because there are many formulas in this so you need to learn the formulas and then practice the questions and you need to practice it two to three times because the questions are a bit confusing so definitely you need to practice 3d a lot and after that linear programming is an easy chapter only first exercise is in your course and it generally carries five to six marks so it is easy and you can obviously practice it and score good and after that probability generally 10 marks question come from this chapter and the most important in probability is the base theorem you must practice it and some tips i would like to give you all 
first revise the formulas because the formulas are very important even if you're stuck in any question then if you mention the formula then there is probability that the examiner gives you marks for that and do written practice obviously maths is nothing without written practice and avoid silly mistakes if you want to score good then you need to avoid silly mistakes because if you do any sort of mistake of minus or plus then the whole question gets wrong so avoid doing silly mistakes keep on checking whenever you are doing any question and i hope your video aapke liye useful rahi ho don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and agar aap channel pe naye hain to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching